Hi everyone, uh, I'm Steve Hayward and I teach in the English department here at Colorado College and I thought I would share just a little bit of what I've been uh, writing and thinking about over the last month. Uh, it's actually an old project of mine, which I started about 10 years ago and abandoned for a number of reasons, but it's a, it's a story about a, uh, it's a novel about a global pandemic and uh, I can't tell uh, right now if it's the kind of thing that uh, people will want to read when this all ends or if it is uh, something that uh, will just seem kind of strange now that we're in the midst of uh, a situation a lot like the one that takes place in the novel. I'm just going to share a little bit of the very beginning, the prologue, uh, with you. You did hear about it. You just don't remember. If you're like most people, and most people are like most people, you got it like everyone else. You were infected. And when that happened, you started to sneeze. From the outside, when you saw someone else sneeze, it looked like an ordinary sneeze, like a cold or the flu, like allergies, only it wasn't. It moved through the air invisibly, in and out, through noses and eyes and mouths, on the palms of hands, on straws, on countertops, in cold water taps, on toothbrushes, on steering wheels, on bicycle handlebars, everywhere and nowhere, moving silently, impalpably, intangibly, from one person to another and another. What happened when you got it was you sneezed. You sneezed once, twice, and the third time, you sneezed everything away. And by everything, I mean everything. You sneezed away your name and address and your telephone number. You sneezed away your birthday and your mother's birthday, and that your mother was your mother. You sneezed away your multiplication tables and your favorite color and how to spell Mississippi. You sneezed away the difference between mammals and reptiles and how to do long division. If you happened to be kissing somebody when you sneezed that third time, you sneezed away his name and what made you want to kiss him in the first place. It didn't look like it hurt at all.